All right, let's jump straight into it. So I'm gonna go over here, grab an ellipse, hold down shift so that that turns into a circle or so that it stays a circle. And then we're gonna go over to effect, distort and transform, plucker and bloat. So drag this slider right here, do some minor tweaks and adjustments, whatever works for you and just come up over here. Once you're done with that, you can go to object, expand appearance. If you don't like these edges being so pointy here, what you can do is just go over to your object, then just select that little dot right there. Um, you could also go in, copy, paste it back in place, spin this around and reduce the size of it to get something a little bit more interesting. Another way of getting a vector sparkle effect would be to use the star tool right here and come over, bring that up. And if you hold down, I think if you hold down alt on the Mac, that'll be control on PC. You can expand the outer edges of the star once you find a size that you like. Um, if you want to increase the number of points, you can just click up or down on the arrow keys. I'm going to do it to about right there so that I get something similar to what we already had. I'm going to go in, copy that, paste it back in place, and then rotate it. Now, I could leave it like that, and that's a pretty cool looking star. Or I could shrink it down, you know, get something like that. There's an infinite number of variations that you can do. Both options work well. The plucker and bloat one is just kind of quick. The star tool is definitely underrated also. So, you know, whichever one works best for you. I'm just here to show you, show you, you got options. You feel me? You know, if you like these videos and you guys want to see me continue to do how to videos and whatnot, like, comment, subscribe, you know, whatever, you know how the YouTube algorithm works. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Peace.